Because we smell nice. And we're gorgeous. And we're dynamite in bed. Hey all of you gorgeous people, I hope you're having an amazing day today. So today we're going to be talking about why straight men are attracted to trans women. To be honest, I'm incredibly surprised that I haven't done a video about this already because personally I find this topic incredibly interesting. From an outside perspective, somebody who's not attracted to trans women or doesn't know anything about it will automatically think that guys are attracted to trans women because of what's between their legs. And while sometimes that is the case, a lot of the time there's a lot more to it. And from what I've found, different guys are attracted to us for different reasons. So let's get into it. So from a post-op woman's perspective, guys who are into me usually just see me as a quote normal woman and they don't really care about the labels. They're just attracted to me and they don't really see me as any different to a cisgendered woman. Also, before I forget to mention it, I leave all of my socials, including my Instagram and Twitter, still don't know how to use Twitter properly, sorry I'm Australian, and my OnlyFans if you want to sign up or support me. Wow. But keep in mind when I'm talking about this, I'm talking strictly from a post-op experience. If you watch my videos, I always state that just because I have very limited knowledge when it comes to dating pre-op. I think one of the biggest misconceptions is that men who are into trans women, as I said before, are strictly into penises. Why do I feel wrong saying penis? I can say penis. And yes, to be honest, there are a lot of guys who do prefer pre-op girls and maybe are considered chasers because they just want pre-op pre-op. <laughs> now I'm not going to refer to these guys as chasers. What my definition in my brain of a chaser is, and I have described this before in a previous video, is a guy who just wants to take us to bed, just thinks of us as a sex thing and nothing more, and will not be seen with us out in public, let alone even think about having a romantic relationship with us. That's my definition of a chaser. If you disagree or have a better definition, please leave it in the comments because I'd really like to hear it. Now, in my experience, the guys who date us generally date us for a variation of reasons, whether it's because they like our features, they're attracted to certain features of ours, or it could solely be because we do have a reputation, and I can't deny that I know a lot of trans girls like this, for being hyper-feminine. Now, I just want to make it clear, there is absolutely nothing wrong with a trans girl acting hyper-feminine or acting any way that she feels necessary to express the way she is. And what I mean by hyper-feminine is that we do things like we're always getting our hair done, we're always getting our nails done, we're always wearing makeup, like a smoky eye shadow, even the way we talk and the way we walk, is everything is just hyper feminine. And there definitely are some girls that are like that. I mean, cisgendered women come in various shapes and sizes. All of them are incredibly unique in the way they act. So why wouldn't trans women be the same? And while we're talking about the hyper feminine thing, I want to dissect that even further. I think that some trans girls use it to overcompensate their dysphoria. Um, which can attract more attention. But then you've got other trans girls that I think just feel more comfortable. And I mean, that's just exactly how they are as incredibly feminine women. But while I'm being honest, I do think that guys that prefer hyper feminine women are probably severely disappointed when I rock up on a date. And I'm certainly not bashing my own like femininity. I just act pretty much the same as what you see on camera. Like maybe I'm even more vulgar in real life, but I'm pretty much exactly the same as what you see on camera. And I don't class myself as being somebody that is really feminine. I've come to terms that I have like probably both masculine and feminine traits. Like every single person does, it doesn't matter, matter whether you're even a cis woman or a cis man, everybody has like some feminine and some masculine traits. And that's something I've really accepted. So I'm not bashing myself. I'm very comfortable with my femininity. I'm surprised I got that right, femininity. Usually that's a hard one for me. In fact, once a guy saw me eating <laughs> and he said he was scared I was going to bite off one of my fingers. Cute. So another interesting reason why men are attracted to trans women, which is the other end of the scale, is that they like the more masculine properties that a woman has. 
for example, when I was just beginning my hormones and I was on Tinder, didn't meet any other guys, I've said this hundred times, a lot of the guys who messaged me were like, oh, like, are you a gymnast? Like, I'm really into, like, how you've got, like, quite, um, not muscular legs, but they were very, like, shapely um and a lot of my features were like I was still thin but I'll, the estrogen hadn't really taken effect and just turned all of my muscle into fat which I, I wish it would have kept some of the muscle there and um yeah that's kind of the sad story of how all of my muscle just turned into fat and I don't have anywhere else to go with that also the other reason why I found some men are attracted to us is because they really like anal I experienced this sort of attraction again before I got my SRS done. A lot of guys would hit me up and then I'd tell them I'm trans and they'd be like, no worries, I'm an ass man. So I'd kind of get that, or I'd elicit that sort of response from some of the guys. And again, no shade. I'm never gonna kink shame on this channel. Everyone is entitled to their own thing. In fact, I don't mind anal myself. I don't know why I'm disclosing that, but I'm just gonna leave it there. Fuck, this is a shit show. And you also do get some men who are into pre-op women because they want to bottom for the pre-op woman. So she would be the top. Again, I don't have like a lot of knowledge on this. This is more something that I've heard from a friend that a lot of guys here are up for that. And um, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're a chaser. That's just something that they like in bed. But largely, most of the men that I attract, I don't attract... And I think this is mainly because I'm post-op. I don't attract the men who want something um, explicitly sexual from me that they couldn't get from a cisgendered woman. And I believe that is why I mostly attract men who just don't see me as any different as a cisgendered woman. So they just see me from the woman for the woman that I am. I guess you could say they see me like a little bit differently, but for the most part, they kind of see me as the same as a cisgendered woman, if that makes any sense at all. And I think for the most part, when I initially actually started dating men and hooking up with men as a trans woman, I felt like I was just an easier hole, to put it nicely, even though that doesn't sound nice at all. But that's realistic. That's realistically how I felt. Like I was just something a lot easier than a cisgendered woman so a guy would just satisfy his needs with me and I actually carried that feeling for years and that's what led me into getting into a terrible relationship was because I had such a low self-esteem and low self-worth I didn't realize that in general straight men even with cisgendered women will just want to hook up and have sex and that's fine these guys weren't promising to marry me or anything but i would you know meet up with a guy i'd put out and then i would wait for him to message me and then he'd only ever message me at like 3 a.m for a beauty call and i started to feel really used but it wasn't like they were necessarily using me i mean i had a few guys who would kind of promised me the world and I was very naive because when you first transition it's like this entire different world like I wasn't hooking up with gay guys anymore I was hooking up with straight men and gay guys are very very upfront they'll be like I just want to hook up that's all I want or they'll be like I'm into a relationship or whatever ends up happening but straight men sometimes can be a little bit more cryptic not all of them, but sometimes a lot of them, especially on Tinder. I mean, that's obviously the wrong place for me to be looking, but that's where I primar primarily, <laughs> good with words, was looking for my soulmate. And every time I met up with a new guy and all he wanted to do was have sex and then he wouldn't message me back until he was horny or in the mood again, Every time that happened, I just felt even lower and lower and lower about myself until my self-esteem was non-existent. And that was an absolute terrible place to be for me, which is why I ended up latching on to the first guy that actually wanted to date me. The other reason why a lot of men are attracted to trans women, I believe anyway, this is just my hypothesis or theory, 
is because there is so much trans porn on the internet. I mean, it used to be back in the day, men would go to like porn shops and buy magazines and that was how they were exposed to it. But now it's so readily available that it's become sort of this kink in a way to be with a trans woman. And I'm not saying all of them are chasers, um, but some of them are definitely. Some of them just want to fulfill that kink, stay married to their woman, have their two kids and their white picket fence. But some of them genuinely do want to be with us. And the unfortunate thing is that society does shame them for actually being attracted to us, which is kind of an ongoing joint battle for trans women and also men who are attracted to us. And I also feel like talking from the pre-op perspective, when I was briefly dating online, dating online, that's literally all that happened, was that the guys that I was attracting were not interested in the slightest of what I had between my legs. Um, the ones that were kind of serious were firstly blown away that I was trans. I think I was really good at taking photos because I didn't pass that well back then. But for the most part, when I experienced the dating thing, a lot of the men hadn't had any knowledge really or much knowledge of trans women. Occasionally, I would get a guy that would say, I've always wanted to experience a trans woman. That was incredibly rare. Most of the time, it was just more of a interest. You know, they've found a girl that is pre-op and has something different down there and they're interested in that and I think it has more to do with the fact that they're not really into specific genitalia at the end of the day they don't really mind whether it's a vagina or whatnot so I've already said penis a couple of times I'm trying to avoid saying it again even though I just said it again there are also some men that I've connected with who never actually wanted to be with a trans woman in the first place but they were attracted to me and that's what made them curious about it and made them interested in getting hooking up with me or whatever sometimes that ends really badly like I don't mean like I'm getting bashed up but you know I have met up with the odd guy who they're not specifically into trans women they didn't really know much about us but they saw me, felt like I passed well enough and were happy to hook up and they were like really sweet but I just find that those guys are like almost shocked after they've climaxed and it's like they can't get away soon enough and I feel like I've like kind of violated them unintentionally even though I've been upfront and told them I'm trans but it's like you can just see them like questioning their sexuality and you know, I know that they're not gay, I know that they're still straight, but, you know, it goes against everything that they've ever believed or thought to be real and um, or what society has implanted in their brains. And that's a pretty tough thing to kind of, um, what's the word, to kind of get past. That's why I much prefer a guy who's kind of used to being with trans women and just my ideal type of guy is one that just sees trans women and cisgendered women as the same, perhaps has a preference for trans women. That's kind of my ideal type of man when it comes to dating, even though I haven't dated for years. So, But then when it comes to sex, I really don't care about what they're mainly interested in. If they're mainly interested in me, I don't really care. To be honest, even if they are fetishizing me, if they're someone that I want to welcome into my bed, I don't really care because I'm getting what I want at the end of the day. It was just those beginning stages when I was like every time I was with a man because it's really different when you transition and you're letting somebody inside of you. Like I think the hormones change as well. They change you and what happens is you develop these feelings for people and it takes a while to to just cut that off and be able to see sex as sex and then you know a relationship is a relationship and I would like say to myself at the beginning it's okay I'm just gonna hook up with this guy I want to fulfill my needs but something changed in my brain like this chemical thing and I found it really difficult to draw that line and I'd feel really attached to pretty much every guy that I slept with 
and that was quite toxic but now I'm in that frame of mind and I have been for years where I, I can just hook up with a guy and I don't care if he ever messages me again or if he does doesn't <laughs> now more into the, like the kink side of things where the men are just attracted us for kinky reasons a lot of the time I find that they're into me because it feels naughty to them to be into me um, I don't love that but again I'm not going to kick them out of bed if I'm attracted to them and you know I'm getting what I want as well but yeah it's not great but you do have those and I'll, I'll call them chasers who just want to hook up with us that's all they want and that's because they feel naughty knowing that they're being with someone other than a cisgendered women. I feel like pre-op women would be exposed to this even more so than what a post-op woman would be. So it's not really my expertise. I've only come across probably two guys since I've transitioned and had my surgery who have made it really known that they're only into me because it kind of feels naughty and that arouses them. It's like people who want to have sex. I almost said make love, I'm not going to say that or I'll vomit. People who want to have sex out in public and that gets them off because it's naughty and that's kind of what like some men see trans women as is this naughty sort of thing that they get to do and they keep a secret and yeah I don't I don't love it I don't love it but I mean that's a thing and I think if both parties are okay with that if the trans woman is aware that they're just going to be pretty much used just for sex then they can just use the man for sex as well and everyone's happy but I do think at the end of the day if there's any trans women watching this don't go for guys who just want to be with you because they feel like it's something really taboo and something really naughty and they're getting off on it unless you're clear on the fact that you're not going to develop feelings for them and you're not going to feel like trash when they leave because Feeling like a naughty, dirty little secret, even when I say it out loud, like it doesn't make any sense that I would ever be comfortable with that. But I, I have, at least on actually one occasion, I have gone through it, gone through with it. And I did feel a little bit crummy at the end. I think because at the end of the day, that's quite a toxic dynamic. I think nobody really deserves to feel like that. And because it's not even like role playing, like you know how people in bed will do role playing and you know say someone's going to be a servant and the other one's the master it's actually real life like they actually just think of you as something naughty and something that they're not supposed to play with and I would advise a lot of trans women to steer away from guys like that yeah that's just my pearl of wisdom my one pearl of wisdom for this video <laughs> Anyway, that's enough from me today. If you have enjoyed this video, definitely give it a big thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. If you want to see more of me, join my OnlyFans, or you could just subscribe to this channel. All right, gorgeous people. I hope you have an amazing day. I'll catch you next time. Bye.